Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're gonna be going over the range, the top speed, and how long it takes to charge up this battery. So let's go over a few things, because if you haven't watched the other videos, uh, this has a 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery. I'm using a 1500 watt controller instead of a 1000 watt, because if you go watch part two of the build series, uh, you can learn that our my controller blew out. So to test this range, we're gonna do two different tests. We're gonna do a 750 watt test, which is where the two blue wires uh, plug into each other. That's where it limits it to 750 watts. And then we're gonna do the full 1500 watt test. Both these tests are full throttle, unless we're at a stop sign and no pedaling or almost no pedaling. And for these tests, we're gonna be on a bike trail. So relatively flat ground, not that much of an incline or decline. So if you have hills in your area, expect the range to go down a little bit. Before we go into this video, it would really help me out if you could go down below, click that subscribe button uh, and like the video if you, if you like the video. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please comment down below. I try my best to answer all your questions. So now let's go to the trail and test the range out on this thing. Okay, so we just made it out here to this beautiful lake. This is about 11 miles out. So we were averaging 16 miles per hour, but really we we're averaging like 25, I think, yeah, on our way out here. Um, and it did noticeably start to drop at the end. The acceleration from the stop signs went way down. Um, so I had to pedal a little bit just to get it going up to speed, which I, I would expect a lot more out of this. This is hopefully only about half the range. Okay, now that we just got back from the 1500 watt test, uh, now I'm gonna charge it up overnight and do that battery charge test. And then we will go out and try out the 750 watts and see how long it'll go. And this battery is dead. It's at its very last mark. Um, the bike will work for like two minutes and then it'll just shut off again. So the battery is completely dead. Um, we're gonna do a full charge on this and see how long it takes. Okay, so after a very long time of waiting, the battery is finally done charging. Uh, it took over 12 hours to fully charge this battery, so that's the times that you can expect. Now, for charging this battery up, it's recommended to go from 80% charge to 30% charge, and then back up to 80. That, that's gonna improve your battery life the most. So if you plug it in and leave it in for 10 hours, that'll probably bring it up to around 80%. And then for figuring out 30%, well, you're on your own for that because I have no idea how to figure out when you're at 30% battery. Um, you can upgrade to like a five amp charger, which is pushing a lot of current through this. Uh, it, you could use it as like a quick charger. I would not use it all the time, else your battery's life is gonna go way down and you won't get as many charge cycles out of it. I think these batteries are rated for like 800 charge cycles, which is like, a little over two years of life. Now, if you use the five amp charger, uh, expect that to go down. 
because it's just pushing more current and the faster you charge something up, the shorter the lifespan of the battery. Okay, so we got the battery all charged up. Now let's go back and do our 750 watt test. Hopefully this range will go a little bit higher than the last one as you'll find out in a little bit. It was a little disappointing on how short of range we had, but we had a pretty good top speed. I'll give you that one. So let's get back onto the bike and do 11 miles back. Hopefully the battery will last for that whole time. Okay, we're finally back from both tests, uh, testing the full power and the half power. So let's compare the results. So as you can see, the 1500 watt has a way higher top speed of around 30 miles per hour. That's full throttle, no pedaling whatsoever. Compared to the 750 watt that has a top speed of like 17 miles per hour, that's on both of those numbers are on flat ground. But what you guys are all here for is the range, which I was sort of disappointed by. On the 1500 watts, we only had about 20 miles of range on flat ground, which was sort of disappointing based on this is a pretty big battery for how much current it's pulling. Over here on the 750 watt side though, we are seeing that there is over 30 miles of range, which that's pretty remarkable. So if you have a long commute, you can just do the 750 watt mode. And then if you wanna show off to your friends, you can uh, unplug that wire and go over 30 miles per hour. What I did on my last e-bike was wire up a switch so that you could turn it from 1500 to 750. So if you ever wanted a little power boost, you just flip a switch on your handlebars and it'll switch it to full power. Or if you want more range, you can just flip the switch the other way and it'll do the half power. Now, if you guys noticed during any of these videos, we got some horns on here. We got this plank in the back. So if you guys stay subscribed, turn on those post notifications, you can figure out what that all is gonna be for. We're gonna do a few little upgrades to this thing to make it stand out from the rest. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. See you next time.